Today's uh, Hustings is, has been organised by 38 Degrees, who've asked me to chair it as an independent resident of Wickham. I've been a, mem a resident of Wickham for five years, and uh, I find it a very good place to live. It's a pleasure to be involved in, in a, a democratic process like this. Um, however, I'm not politically aligned or particularly active in the area recently, and they had to find somebody who wasn't aligned and linked, so that seems to have been me. Um, we're going to have some very strict rules because what we really want to do is get as many questions as possible this evening. And so as I've explained to the candidates, they're each going to get two minutes to introduce themselves. Um, and then we will have a series of questions when they each have two minutes to respond plus one extra minute uh, for the person who starts. And then a group of questions, uh, uh, two or three questions together, which they'll also <coughs> respond. And we hope by the time we get to about quarter past nine, there'll be ten minutes or so for additional points or questions from the floor. Obviously, with ten minutes, not possible for everybody to speak at that point. And I will, as you'll see, I'm going to be fairly firm with our good gentleman here. I'll also ask you at that point to keep things as short as possible, not because I don't want you to have your say, but simply because we want as many people to have their say as possible. We have got microphones on the tables and there are roving microphones as well, but if you do have trouble hearing, please indicate because I know we've got someone very good on sound and they'll sort it out as quickly as they possibly can. Um, so 38 Degrees is a, is a Wickham group that's, that's connected with a national organisation and if you do want to know more about what they're doing or get involved in any way, um, then the flyer that you may have seen for today has got their... Uh, email address on it and also do perhaps please just speak to any of the people with the orange triangle badges on before you leave today. So uh, with that I'm going to ask the candidates to, to start their speaking. We're going in a random order so and people will change in order, uh, change who goes first each time so hopefully that's fair for everybody and I'm going to ask uh, Jen Bailey please first of all for two minutes to introduce yourself followed by um, David Will Jane Bailey from the Greens, followed by David Williams from Labour, David Meacock from UKIP, Steve Guy, Liberal Democrats, and Steve Baker, Conservative, in that order. I'd like to go ahead. Oh, yeah. Hello. Two minutes. Yes, that's, yes, just speak into it. Yeah. Hi. As I said, I'm Jen Bailey for the Green Party. I've lived locally for about the last 15 years um, around the Wickham area. Before that, I was um, lived in Burnham. Um, stood last elections in the Beckersfield area um, five years ago, so sort of used to this one. Um, why the Green Party is really, I joined the Green Party because it's pretty much the only party that sort of aligns to the principles that I have. Um, local issues have been put, um, what I'm passionate about, I'm very passionate about local economy and local small business and trying to sort of back those sort of businesses and stay away from sort of like pushing out on the big side of it. Um, very passionate about the local, obviously, Wickham Hospital and bring back an AE department back into the NHS here. And um, also passionate against, obviously, the um, HS2 as well. So um, if you need to speak to me afterwards, then feel free. Thank you very much. Uh, secondly, then, if we could come to David Williams Labour, please. One, two, yeah, that's working. Got it. Hello, I'm, I'm David Williams. I'm representing the Labour Party. I was brought up in, in Leighton Buzzard, went to my local comprehensive, went off to uh, study law and uh, worked my way up the, the legal ladder over 25 years, helping families to try to resolve um, problems that they had uh, uh, come upon or crises that uh, they had suffered. And over those first 20 years of my career, I think I helped a lot of individual families to resolve problems. More recently, um, as, uh, as my career has progressed, I, I've been involved in a number of, of cases where the law has changed, where I've been able to uh, help the law develop to allow children a, a greater say in cases affecting them, to give greater protection to women and children who have suffered domestic violence. And uh, in the course of those cases, I hope I've helped a lot more people. But um, ultimately, it seemed to me that um, any career in law, I was only going to be able to, to help a limited number of people. And that actually moving on to the political stage 
is a much better way to, to deploy my skills, such as they are, to the benefit of as, uh, a community and uh, perhaps society generally. Um, because ultimately I would like to help shape society and the community I, I live in um, to reflect the values which are, are dearest to me, which effectively are providing social, economic, political and civil justice to everybody. Um, why Wickham? Well, I, I grew up in Leighton Buzzard, a market town which is fairly similar to, to Wickham, um, RAF base, quite a large industrial base. Um, and I, I felt an affinity for Wickham since actually I was selected to represent Wickham. Um, I've been extended a tremendous welcome by uh, the Wickham Labour Party, first of all, who have, uh, who have been tremendous, but more, more importantly by all of the people in Wickham who I've, I've met, and it would be a ten, great honour for me ten to... Ten seconds, to, please. It, okay, I think I can say that in ten seconds if I hadn't said that. Um, <laughs> it would be a great honour to represent uh, the people of Wickham and to try to make, uh, make a difference to Wickham itself and to um, make Wickham as good a place as we all would like it to be. Thank you very much. Uh, David Meacock from UKIC, please. Hello. Um, I'm used to actually facing the other way in this church, sometimes as a member of the congregation, but often uh, when I used to do concerts here uh, with my back to you all as a conductor, or sometimes with my side to you when I played piano concertos here. I was actually born in Essex, um, but I've lived in Bucks for 45 years, ever since I was three years old. Uh, I went to all the local schools, including Dr. Chaloner's Grammar School, and thereafter I went to the Royal College of Music, and then I went to Reading University part-time to do a master's degree. Uh, I was always interested in politics as a youngster, and of course, at that time, anybody who debated the EU question was thought of, frankly, as a bit of an anorak. But now, things have changed, and the EU question is actually fundamental as to whether we can govern ourselves or whether we continue to be ruled by another nation and merely one star out of 28 on their flags. Yesterday, it was commented in the Bucks Free Press that I was the only one who didn't wear my rosette. So I thought, well, to wear or not to wear, that is the question. And I decided I wouldn't wear it because it's quite symbolic that all the others are wearing it because you need that to distinguish them as me messengers from Europe. Whereas UKIP has a completely different message. We, have, we are the only ones who've got a fully costed manifesto. 30 seconds. We're going to save 100 billion by exiting the EU, stopping a lot of the wasted foreign aid, stopping HS2, and abandoning the Barnett formula. And we will redistribute that in tax cuts, which will benefit everybody, and in increased money to local services at here at home. Charity starts at home. Locally, we will immediately get rid of the threat to the Green Belt and Reserve sites by having <coughs> a housing policy based on building on brownfield sites. So, ladies and gentlemen, there is a real choice here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, Steve Guy, Lib Dem Democrats, please. Hi. Uh, yeah, I'm Steve Guy. I'm um, the Lib Dem candidate again this year. Um, when my family and I moved to Wickham, uh, our children were quite small, and we actually sort of chose Wickham out of a number of out of a short list. And there were a lot of things we liked about Wickham. We liked the parkland, we liked the schools, we liked um, the open air swimming pool on the Rye. We liked the fact that it had got a good local hospital. Um, and as I've become involved in politics locally uh, and with the district council. <laughs> I realise that what you actually have in Wickham is you have a, an area that's been dominated by the Conservatives for many years and they've had it all their own way and sometimes they need a bit of challenging. Um, so we fought a campaign to get the swimming pool reopened, we fought a campaign to get Wickham uh, made a fair trade town which has recently been completed, we fought a, t a campaign against plans to build a super stadium on Booker Air Park um, but there's lots more to do. We still, uh, as you'll all be aware, need to fight to get our A&E and maternity services returned to Wickham Hospital. We need to fight the new Junction 3A that they want to put in. We need to fight uh, inappropriate housing development on our remaining green spaces within the town area. So I really want to be an MP with a local focus 
um, challenging the Conservatives locally and focusing on, on the priorities of people who live in Wickham. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Steve and uh, Steve Baker, Conservative, please. Good evening, everybody. I'm Steve Baker. I've been the incumbent MP for the last five years. I'm very uh, glad to be here tonight standing for re-election. Um, I live in West Wickham. Um, with my wife and I don't usually attend church here it's a delight to be here usually when I'm facing this way it's to lead prayers so it's unusual to be here to do politics I suppose the two things should never be mixed but here we are um, an engineer through and through until I got into politics aerospace and software um, I want to thank 38 degrees 38 degrees has become a really interesting part of our democracy and has certainly made MPs much more aware of what their constituents think day by day um, my priorities are very clear. It's number one, it's the NHS. It's our services. I think that the best way for us to go forwards, the realistic way, the way that can de deliver our hospital as the centre of our local health economy, is what the NHS calls an urgent care centre, and that's what I intend to fight for. The second thing is to secure our prosperity, to keep on being part of that nat national plan to turn around our country and make <coughs> sure that we've got pres prosperity based on jobs, based on saving and investing, based on living within our means, so that we can end up with secure prosperity for everyone going forwards. Beyond that, there are too many issues to list. It's been a great joy to participate in the life of High Wycombe for five years. I'm very much hoping that people will return me to Parliament so I can participate in them for another five. Thank you very much indeed. So those are our five candidates.